So now we are going to discuss about parse XML rule. So this is uh, available under integration and mapping, integration F and mapping uh, rule category. So uh, when to use this parse XML rule? So whenever you want to, uh, you know, uh, get a request for a, for a service. Okay. So if it if it is a request for a service or reply from a connector, we might be using we'll be using this parse XML rule. Okay mostly it would be used you know to map the data which is coming from xml uh, text whatever the text messages right so whatever the xml text message you have which you we whatever the data it is coming you want to map that into the pega clipboard pages then definitely we have to use this pega uh, parse xml rule okay so pega parse xml rule belongs to rule hyphen parse hyphen xml class so what does parse xml rule contains whenever you cre create a parse xml rule it will ask you class name and also the root element you have to define a, a meaningful you have to give a meaningful uh, name and also the uh, root element for the parse xml rule so as i said it will be available in mapping rule so let me uh, refresh this i have because i have already created one or i can even show you that so if you click on right click on this create uh, so it will be available an integration mapping rule and you can see uh, there is a parse xml so as i'm creating from the apply for appointment directly then applies to class is shown here the label is the class is the uh, name we are mentioning so we have to give a proper name and root element uh, which will be talking about the uh, xml schema here so from which xml schema you want to add that would be your uh, root element so I give already a root element for this so which is called as patient so it created one rule here okay so when you open your XML uh, XML parse XML then you will have something called as mapping tab so under mapping tab you can see add attribute add element and also you can uh, delete uh, the uh, attribute or add element whichever you have created so inside this particular uh, uh you know root element so this becomes your root element right so inside this root element if you want to add elements you can just click on select this particular one and click on add element over here okay it, then it will open an element inside it. so inside the element again we can create element or we can create attribute also so to delete this select that and click on delete so it would be deleting automatically but how do i uh, uh, how do i add okay so how do I add this how do I add actually so what I do is you have to select the patient if you want to create inside this you have to select the patient add element so double click on this underscore new underscore so where you have to give specify some node name so I want to specify a property called as uh, dot amount uh, so I can select this and I want to give the same node name as amount so what type of node you want to give it as whether it is an attribute node or element node you can select so i want to give element no node only okay so as the context class where i created parse xml it will be showing that and the properties which are there it will be shown over that means what what actually it is happening is in your xml it will create one tag over the remote tag inside that the value which you are uh, mapping will be the property which is there in the apply for appointment class okay so that is what it will have so under user data you got three tabs mapping tab node tab and uh, uh, type tab okay so you got these three things we'll see those things so this is talking about mapping tab this is talking about node tab and this is talking about type that type uh, tab okay so under mapping tab what do you have under mapping tab you got something called as mapping mode there are three types of mapping mode if you can see here there are three types one is standard literal xml and apply rule so you will be using apply rule whenever you have already an xml parts parse xml rule which you have so you can use that and you will go for literal xml to convert all xml content of your element uh, whether it can be its tags or attributes whatever there uh, whatever you have you want to convert that into a uh, specified property then you will use this uh, literal xml so standard is used uh, when we will use standard for parse and extract data from inboard xml okay so i am using here standard itself coming to the context page coming to the context page uh, um, 
coming to the context page if you want to go for any page list the property and all so you can go to add and page and classes and you can add your page list or page group property over here okay uh, that is about it so you can override the class whatever the class you can you can override it okay generally uh, we are leaving it as blank over here so when to use group subscript if your property belonging to the value list or a page group or a page list uh, page group or a property then you have to use this uh, group for the subscript okay so that time you can use it so it is a single value property so I'm not I'm ignoring that and when to go for node so basically when you create this parse XML file sometimes uh, your XSD files will be created automatically so for them you have to go for this node uh, tab so I'm not creating anything automatically over here so I'm just leaving it as blank I mean coming to the type here so the type uh, why we are going with the type here over here is the uh, you know the properties uh, which are belonging to the date or date time or time of day uh, which we write in XML are not same as our uh, uh, Pega properties so if you w that that would be different so if you want to map those things you will come in you will be coming into the type over here okay so if you are talking about date and time property you have to mention here uh, uh, date date time over here okay so if if the value is like date and time if it is only date then you can give only date over here and if it is about time of day then you have to provide time of day over here okay so whatever the type uh, whatever the value which you are taking so you have to map the value properly so this xsd base type will be mapping the uh, time of the day property or you know uh, and then the date time property and date properties if you have you can just mention over here okay and the type name type name space default value these are all are belonging uh, these you will add whenever it is xsd files whenever the xsd file whenever this parse xml file is created automatically not manually it, then you can use this particular thing okay then what is how it is ma automatically created means in the, if you go to the configure integration and uh, services uh, connectors you got something called as uh, connect and metadata wizard right so from this connectors and metadata wizard this parse xml file and all those things would be created okay so using that if you are going to do then xsd file will be automatically created so that time this node and type will be coming into the picture okay so from here from now for now we are not using that okay so this is how you create your parse xml file okay so run so run so when you say text to be parsed you can just simply uh, text something so it is 23 age is 23 and uh, um, and the one is uh, age and the other one is what um, amount I took so I'll take like this so it is not an XML file so we have to write in XML file So I didn't give this, let me give that. you can see that it is created for us so it, the status is valid now so this is how you provide the XML uh, date so we got the I mean we got the output here so status is valid so in that way you will be providing the XML data to this so now we can use this parse XML file in one of our uh, in uh, one of our uh, uh, service file or service soap wherever you want to use you can use this uh, this one parse XML file and you can create uh, the uh, service file or you can create this you can use in one of the services or connectors where you want to use okay 
so yeah this is about parse xml thank you